President Zelensky says more than 10 million Ukrainians are without power after Russia's latest missile attacks on energy infrastructure. Many people are also facing disruption to drinking water supplies. Russia's latest missile strikes hit targets, including gas fields, industrial infrastructure and residential buildings. Our correspondent, Catherine Biarohanga, is in the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv. Ukraine is still trying to assess the damage from yesterday's widespread nationwide missile strikes across Ukraine. We understand in the city of Zaporizhia, the Zaporizhia region, officials say seven people there died when a missile hit a residential building. In Dnipro city, uh, missiles hit an industrial plant and uh, 14 people were injured, including a teenage girl. But the wider impact, looking more broadly at Ukraine, has been the impacts on energy supplies. We understand that there were strikes on gas facilities in the eastern part of Ukraine. In the southern city of Nikopol, thousands of homes were knocked off the power grid following um, strikes by Russia. I'm speaking to you from Kiev, and here one of the electricity companies said the capital experienced one of its biggest energy shutdowns because of these strikes. It's minus three degrees here in Kiev, and this would be a big concern for for families who are right now trying to stay warm um, and, and get some electricity into their homes. Yeah, and it was only this time yesterday that we were looking at live pictures of the first snowfall of the winter there in Kiev, Catherine. I mean, it's not just the power, is it? It's also water facilities and a real threat to the availability of drinking water for people. It's just so basic. Exactly. And that's why the United Nations is warning that should these strikes continue, it's going to make the humanitarian crisis here in Ukraine, as you can imagine, it's already bad because of the war. It's just going to make things even worse. And that's because electricity is really the backbone of services here in Ukraine. It powers hospitals. As you say, it also helps to pump water into people's homes. And we've seen some families having to go out with plastic bottles to collect water on the sides, uh, on the street. I spoke to one woman who says she's lucky that she has a borehole on her street. So when there's a power shutdown, she just nips out and then is able to fetch water. But that really isn't the way that people should be living. And that's really the concern for aid agencies now who are worried about what could happen as it gets colder here um, and if these strikes continue in Ukraine.